everyone, it's Nicole here today with the Vicky Booten Design Team, and today I'm going to be making some paints using a jelly plate and some Vicky Booten uh, acrylic paints. So what I'm doing here is I've grabbed a whole bunch of Vicky Booten stencils, and I'm just applying some paint to the jelly plate. Um, with this technique, you really don't need a lot of product. You just need a tiny little bit, a jelly plate, some stencils, and a brayer. So I'm just rolling on a layer of paint. Um, I, I started off with the stencil and then you can see once I've added other layers of paint, I'm just taking some simple plain white cardstock and making my prints. So I have a scrap here that I'm going to use to kind of pick up anything that's left over and I'm going to create a print from that um, as, as we go along. So again, I'm going to do a whole bunch of these, so you're going to see kind of the same thing over and over. I'm going to start with a, a simple color. This will kind of be the color that's on the outside of the print. So whatever you start with is kind of going to be what's the most on the most outside. Then I'm going to lay down this pretty floral stencil, add some white paint down, and just run that over top of the background. And I'm not quite done yet. I want to add a little bit of pink. I run out of the pink um, cotton candy color, so I'm using this other one here. But I'm going to blend that in just a tiny few drops and then rub that onto my jelly plate and just pull it off and you can see I get a nice really fun print. We're mixing that yellow and the white and the pink. So I'm just going to keep going. There's my uh, scrap again. I'm just going to pick up anything that's left over as well. So again, just a couple thin drops of a mint green paint. And then this time I'm going to grab a couple stencils and kind of just stamp, or sorry, stamps, and stamp right into that painted um, area on the jelly plate just to kind of create a negative space. And then run that print off and you can see to have tiny little bits of that painted stamp there. And there's my scrap again. I'm just slowly building a bit of a background on that. So I'm going to go with some more bolder colors. I'm going to start with a tiny bit of that red candied apple. Um, I'm going to spread that out and the red goes a long way. So I just want a little bit. I'm going to grab the floral stencil again, add a few drops of pink and a few drops of yellow as well. And then just blend that out again with my brayer, mixing the colors kind of together. You can see a little bit of that paint really does go a long way. I'm going to add a little bit of white just because I kind of want to create a bit of a whitish background to this even though this is going on to white cardstock it just helps soften it up the look a little bit i'm going to just add a little bit more white paint um, i'm not going to do anything i'm going to add a little bit of mint and then take another piece of paper and almost just rub off the extra that was left over from that floral stencil and oh my gosh i love that one that one's really really pretty you can see that really that red right there so not a lot of extra work. And again, anything you have left over on your jelly plate, you can just take your scrap and just keep layering that on to create a bit of a pattern. So, you know, don't get rid of anything. A lot goes a long way on this. So I'm gonna use a super fun script stencil now with some yellow and then a little bit of white just to kind of create a bit of a layer. I'm gonna add a little bit of a pink too, just to add some color. And I wanna bring more of that red in and so look how pretty that is. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that one off. And I'm just going to use a brayer just to rub that nice and even. And look how pretty that color mixture is with the pink and the red and the yellow. I'm going to take my scrap again and it's building its own nice little pattern on its own. This time I want to use some of the new metallic paints. So I'm going to use the copper uh, rose gold type color. And I'm going to use this pretty stencil. And I'm actually going to take one of the prints I'd made earlier when I was kind of playing around. And I'm just going to add that over top to the top of it. So even though you've printed, you can go back in and add another layer. A little bit hard to see there in the light, but you get a nice, um, that rose gold shimmer onto the top of that printed background. So you can go over and over again. I'm going to take this one here um, that I have, this turquoise one, and I'm going to add a little bit more texture to it. It came out kind of flat. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that mint color. I want to add a little bit more yellow in and I'm trying to create basically like pattern papers to use on my layout with these prints. So I'm going to go over that just to get a little bit more yellow onto the background of this print. And you can see I have a nice kind of modeled look there with the wavy stencil. And again, using my extra on my scrap kind of cardstock that I have. This can be a bit of a messy technique. So, you know, just keep some wipes and paper towels handy and you'll be okay. So this one is a little bit juicy. I think I have a little bit too much paint here on the plate, uh, but that's okay. I am going to try to use this word stencil because I think this will be really fun. Um, I do 
will tell you, I did use too much paint. So it kind of wiggled and jiggled a little bit too much and it smudged up a little bit. So um, it definitely works better with less paint. You don't want to use a lot. But I'm going to print this one off. And you can see just the faintness of that word on there. I'm just going to a little bit more paint to the top of this. Not a lot. And then run my scrap over top of that just to see what I can pick up. Fix up a nice yellow tinge there over top of the mint. So I'll start off with a little bit more white again. And the white just kind of softens the color. So what I want to do with this one is just kind of print off the polka dots. And I'm wondering if that would work. Didn't work super great. So I decided just to kind of go ahead and use that over top of one. And then the white with the dots just add a nice little texture. You can still see I have white dots there on the jelly plate. So I'm going to add a little bit of pink and put my scrap down. And you can see that I have like a nice kind of really marbled effect on this one now. So here are some of the prints that I made. There's that one with the stamps. Um, you can see the stenciling here, just the different layers of color. Some work better than others, and a lot of it is just really playing around with the colors. I even like the back of them where I've used the brayer to kind of rub it in. And these here are my scraps where I've just printed over and over and over again. You can really see that script stencil where that picked up on there. So no print is garbage as far as I'm concerned. You can print a lot of different textures and colors, just switching up your stencils, your stamps, and your color of paint. So now I've decided that I really want to go ahead and make kind of a spring page. And so I have cut down a lot of the prints into one and a half inch squares. And they're just going to use them like blocks of pattern paper. So I'm going to cut each of them down, probably grab two or three of each of the colors and each of the patterns that I like. And I'm going to try to arrange them in a little bit of rainbow on my project. My daughter here with her umbrella was actually helping me during the video clean off the brayer between all the prints so that the colors didn't get mixed together. So um, that makes the process go a lot faster. If you aren't able to have a little helper like I did, it's good to have a bucket of water nearby or something that you can clean your stencils and your brayer off in between all the different colors. All right, so I think I'm just going to go with a straight row of these uh, paint chips, I'm going to call them. Um, the colors of the paint and you can see there I have one up at the top left it has a bit of a purple color we did a bit of a rainbow print when I was uh, practicing before the video to get an idea what I want I really wanted to bring in a little bit of purple in the rainbow so I have that one up there as well and I'm just going to use a ruler to add uh, to make sure they're pretty much straight even though a little crookedness is not going to kill anybody so I have these in my rainbow colors. I have kind of my scraps that I made the extra prints and now I'm just gonna stitch this all down really quick and then add my photos. So I'm gonna get my photos arranged. I have them all popped with foam adhesive. And because the top is pretty busy with all the patterns, I'm gonna keep the bottom really nice and bright with the white. And I wanted to use these um, super fun glitter thickers that Vicki had in one of her first collections. So I just thought the gold sparkle was perfect for these photos. So I'm going to stick my photos down and then I'm going to use those thickers to add a little bit of sparkle to the bottom. And I'm going to put my photos here on uh, angles on purpose so they don't have to actually line them up perfectly straight. It will seem like they were meant to be. I thought about cutting some raindrops out of those uh, patterned um, prints that we made as well. Um, but decided against it, decided to do something a little bit different. I am going to add a few little black splashes of ink that I have just to kind of add a little bit um, black to, to ground out all the white on the page. Let's get my title lined up properly and then get going on some of the embellishments. I really like that black little heart so I'm going to add that in the middle of my title and then I'm going to go pull just a few stickers from different sticker sheets from Vicki um, to add just a few little pops of color to along the bottom of the photos. I really like a lot of the labels and the photo tabs that are in these sticker sheets. So I'm going to add a few to the top and around the sides there of the different photos that I have on my page. And then I will add a bit of a date stamp later just to kind of finish off one of the edges of the photos. And I'm kind of trying to put these embellishments on in the same kind of color grouping as I have in that rainbow of the printed paper that I made along the top of the page. So I am trying to do my best to kind of keep that. And then I'm going to use one of these round stickers here with some foam squares just to pop that up a little bit. 
So you can see that I have cut some of the vellum butterflies from the Wildflower and Honey collection, and I've just kind of matched them up with the colors in the rainbow across my page. This print page was so much fun to make, so easy and so creative. Um, I definitely need to give this technique a try, and I hope you will too. See you soon. Bye-bye.